She feels safe here. This house is safe. Tonight on 2020, ever wondered what your pet was thinking? He's a charmer. If he's not, it's okay. Well, we put a man who says he knows to the test. I'm a believer. Then, who's your daddy? A fertility clinic worker swapping out the father's sperm for his own. I remember handing him the sperm specimen, and he gave me this evil smile. And a schoolyard romance with a twist. The teacher's message, you know I love you. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to be happy together. Kia ora, I'm Sonia Wilson. When a woman wrote to us saying that her dog had had a reading with a psychic medium, and that the reading had been accurate, we decided to put this man to the test. We sent out a mass email asking for people, believers and sceptics, who would be interested in having him read for their pets. The response was almost immediate. Clearly, a lot of you found the idea intriguing, and after much deliberation, we chose, as you do, three dogs, a cat, and a horse. The readings were scheduled for one hour and the psychic medium was not given any personal information about the owners or their pets beforehand. So here's Emma Keeling with Jay Dobson. Ever wondered what your pet is thinking? And even I think this is weird. What their future might hold. Before I started doing this, I used to tell people that uh, psychics and mediums were a crop. I don't know anybody else that want to admit that they can do it. This man says he can talk to animals. I've been given this gift for a certain reason, and I'm going to use it. I've come to pick up Jay Dobson. He's a psychic who also does readings for animals. We've brought him to Auckland to put him to the test, because, well, it does seem pretty unbelievable. Welcome to Auckland. Good, good. So how are you feeling about this? I was talking to my cat this morning about it. Sorry. And um, he was actually getting smart and was saying that um, they won't say shit when you get there. So, you were yeah. talking to your cat about this? This is a great start to the story. Jay calls himself a psychic medium. Uh, psychic is being able to tell the future. Mediumship is contacting your nana, granddad, uncle, auntie, whatever the case may be, to have a chat to them. For 23 years he's read for humans and last year he started tapping in to animals. Animals tell the truth. I actually like animals a lot better because, well, apart from maybe my cat, they don't back chat you. We can't ask the animals if you're right, so how do we know that you're not pulling the wool over our eyes? OK, honest answer is you don't, but then the only way that I would believe that you would know is that if I brought up something about the animal that no one else knew or the owner knew. So that's how we decide to test Jay. We choose five owners and their animals. We know nothing about them before they contact us. And basically all we tell Jay is he has five readings to do. How do you receive these messages? Uh, I receive them in pictures, in voice. Uh, most of the time it's an idea in my head. So can you tell me about the first time you realised that you had these psychic abilities? The major first time would have been when I was 16 and I was cleaning out my room. When I walked out I got a flash of a man sitting in a seat in the lounge. I went out and I said to Mum, I said, I think I saw Grandad sitting on the seat because my Grandad had only just passed. Jay's not worried about being proven wrong, even though many psychics and mediums have been accused of being fakes. You all do want everybody to see that we are not who we are made out to be on TV. There's a lot of crooks out there. You're not one of them? <sighs> well, considering how I'm not wealthy, no, I'd like to think I'm not. Um, you know, it, I, even, I even feel guilty charging people for readings. But like I've said before, I've got to eat. I've got to pay bills, so something's got to be done. But when I can trade, I'll trade. Go. Our test tonight begins with Mac. He is a Border Collie lad. He's a very yeah. lazy dog, <laughs> but um, he's got that, that kind of collie cuddliness. Yeah. Brooke and Ralph tell us some of the things that Jay might pick up. 
He was hit by a car once. I was walking him up the driveway from work and he saw a, car, a dog on the other side of the road and bolted. Come on. Oh. Plus, Brooke's been to a medium before and they said that Mac was... The human soul in an animal's body and a husband of mine in a past life. To which Ralph said, when I got home, no wonder he never listens to you. <laughs> that, that he'd been brought into this life to show me how to love, not physical love, but spiritual love. Would you say you're believers, skeptics, somewhere in between? I'm a believer. I'm definitely a skeptic. But they can agree on why they want to do this. I just think it's a cool opportunity to potentially see into your animal's mind, because mm. how many times do you wish that they could talk? We told Jay he was meeting yeah. a dog and their male owner. Yeah. Jay has asked that the owners yeah. just give him yes or no <laughs> answers. Oh yeah. Hey, not too bad. Let's see. I just saw when I, when, when it was walking down, I just got old, old, old as an old soul. Jay does so know that Mac walk. belongs to a couple. He's attached to a female presence quite strongly. Now I want to say that this person's alive. Mm. Does that make sense to you? Yep. Would that would that be your partner? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Does she take him for more walks than you? No. And would she do all the spoiling? No. Ralph decides to help Jay out and tells him about Brooke's previous reading. Have you got anything to say to Brooke if, if they have been together in a past life? Or? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't pick that up. No. No. Okay. I, I pick up the fact that they are spiritually linked. Yeah. To what I've been told is that that is pretty far-fetched. Yeah. And, um, but I'm talking to dogs, for Christ's sake. I mean, you know, I mean... It, 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 Brooke couldn't be here today because she's just had a baby. Something, you know, fairly substantial's changed in his life lately. I don't know if he can tell you what that was. I, I can't pick up how, what it was, but I can pick up that um, he does get a little bit stressed and then it goes away and then it'll come back again. When I go back towards the back leg and everything like that, I feel... He's just given me a feeling of pain. Did he get, actually get hit by a car or something like that? Yeah. He did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come here, you. It was quite painful. It was a pretty heavy yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. But like to me, what, what I see is, I see a, a, the old um, pulsating, red pulsating, like you see on TV. That's all I got, yeah. Nothing else to say, Wolf? You done? He was good, he was short, sweet and straight to the point. Wasn't a lot of words, but they were main words. So Jay's happy, but is Ralph. So did you get anything out of that? Um, not, a, not a huge amount. I mean, some of the things he said were pretty interesting, um, especially for the, the car incident um, and the being spiritually linked to Brooke. Apart from that, it was, I, I guess, kind of vague. For three days, we crisscross Auckland. We give Jay five opportunities with different species to prove his skills. Although Jay gets little from Pat the cat. I didn't expect much from the cat uh, because of the fact that um, cats just don't say much. I've never come across a cat apart from mine that does talk, but then I spend a lot of time with mine, so it, you know that'll, that'll be why. Is that true or a convenient excuse? Is Jay preying on caring pet owners? No medium preys on anybody. You have your own free will to decide whether you want to ring and get a reading, whether it be animal, whether it be for yourself, or whatever the case may be. Each reading takes less than an hour. Apparently, Sparky the horse is very talkative. He used to be quite good at dressage. Um, now he doesn't like it anymore. I'm going to put my life on and say that he's had enough Mm -hmm. of it. Sick and tired of it, to be honest with you. I don't like the feeling of that leg. But, um, he actually loves jumping, like, he just, his whole expression changes. I can understand that, but I psychically don't feel it being healthy for him mm -hmm. because of that. Time to think improves Robin's opinion of the reading. Initially, sort of, when he said a few things, I was sort of, kind of, I'm not quite sure what, what he's meaning there, but after I thought about it a bit, then I sort of did sort of connect what he was talking about, yeah. So I think the majority of it he got right. Coming up, the test continues and things start getting really weird. It's a very strange feeling in my 
here right now. Really? Very strange. Welcome to Auckland. Good, good. 2020 searching for answers. What animals have you done psychic readings with? I've done horses, dogs, cats, uh, guinea pigs. We're testing psychic medium Jay Dobson's claims he can connect with animals. I'd like to believe, but there's just not enough hard kind of in your face evidence to make you go, oh yeah. So how did all this start? Well, Jay was giving a reading and accidentally connected to his client's dog. I said to the lady, I said, you know, are you happy with the reading? And she said no. And I said, why not? And she said, because that's not me at all. She texted and said that my dog was looking at you the whole time that you were doing the reading. What you said is exactly what's wrong with my dog. One, two, three. But can Jay convince our pet owners that he's the real deal? That's right. This is Sarah and LB, aka Little Beagle. When I adopted her, her name was Fleur. I didn't like the thought of yelling Fleur at the park because it sounded like a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is a believer. She's great with cats. If anything, she's a little bit fearful of them. When there's food around, you can't get through to her. Yeah, yeah, we lost weight, <laughs> didn't we? Because we was a fat beagle, yeah. If she says in the psychic reading that mummy keeps calling me fat, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna lose it. <laughs> if, she, if she says, mummy, take a long, hard look in the mirror. <laughs> She just said to me, she said, just because you want to stay thin and be fit, it doesn't mean that I have to. There you go, that's better, isn't it? Hey? What else you got to say? Jay tells us LB wants to be fed more biscuits. Her exact words to me, it's better than the shit you're feeding me now. OK, so is that a, a, a dietary supplement or something like that? I, I'd have to say way off on that one. She loves what I feel. Oh, no, 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 definitely, definitely. But, it's been but, another mixed bag. There was a hard one. The dog, I mean, the dog was a bit nervous and a bit shy. It was only giving me one word answers. It was only saying biscuits. It was only saying food. So I had to I put together what I had, what I believed that the dog was saying. But how can you put anything together when you're only getting one word? You can't, to be honest, okay? And this is where it comes into the bit of mediumship that I don't like. If you're only getting one word, you, it can be a, a thousand different things and you need to ask questions and that to me is, is not mediumship. That is what a fake would do and that is not what I want to do. But bearing in mind the fact that I've only been doing this for about six or seven months full on, I'm learning. I think it was a little bit eerie fairy for, for me. Maybe being a believer, I wanted hard facts, you know, um, and which I know is very hard to get. What I didn't factor in is that, that she was shy. She might not have anything to say. <laughs> but now, aren't you interpreting? Isn't this is, gets a bit dangerous? You so wanted to talk yeah, to her. Yeah, I so wanted to hear her say something. Yeah. But on the other flip side, for her to not mention the cats at all, yeah. to me, was like, well, come on, there's, it's not like there's one. And it was sort of like, the things that I think she loves, he said that she wasn't that keen on, so I was sort of a bit like, huh. How many psychics are actually out there doing readings for animals? I have quite a few uh, psychic medium friends on Facebook. I've hit them all up about it. Out of the three or 400 that I've got, I've only had two come back admit that they can do it, but they won't do it because of the fact that they are scared that they will get ridiculed about it and made fun of. We're coming to the end of our test. This is Lou and Keith. The one with the tail is Pi, and she's rather unique. A guy at the park when she first came out of quarantine actually came up to me and said, is that a ginger husky? <laughs> and I just about cried and wet my pants at the same time because I, that's kind of exactly what she looks like, really. What do you look Okay. So where did the name Pi come from? Um, it's actually funny, she, we, she had two owners before us and um, so we rescued her in Japan um, and she was actually named by her first family after the girl from Whale Rider, so Pi Kia, so apparently it means good. How much do you know about her background? I guess a little, eh honey? 
She was apparently mistreated as a puppy by a Japanese family and she was very, very, very scattish stable. when we first got her. You could barely pat her. As we drive to Pai's reading, I'm unsure if Jay has proven he can communicate with animals. But when we arrive at Lou and Keith's house, something very strange happens. Uh, I'm just looking at your face, Lou. You're yeah. a little bit surprised. I am quite surprised that Pies assumed that position with uh, like an absolute stranger and she's letting him do that because that's very uncommon. It takes a while. <laughs> very uncommon. I don't believe that the original people knew how to look after her properly. Okay, and, and, it, um, and then it just got to the point where they just didn't care. Okay, and um, and they passed it on. But um, she feels safe here. It's like this house is safe. She is saying to me that um, she did get hit around here a lot. Whether it's, is that right? Okay, yeah, around that side there. And um, like just a, uh, I suppose a smack on the side or a kick or something like that. I'm going to slightly, Sorry. slightly blurt. Um, but when we got her, we were told uh, never to touch her hindquarters, which now is completely the, op the opposite. Remember, we've told him nothing about Pi or her owners. But Jay doesn't get everything yeah, right. But for some unknown reason, I I've got the word the the, the, um, the word Dutch in, in it. So I don't know. Does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> we know some Dutch people. <laughs> I do keep looking at the paws. Definitely I want to start with that one. Yep. And, um, and and so possibly this one here. I'm not, it's a bit confused, but definitely that one there. Did, 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 did it get squashed or something or was it? Did it... <laughs> don't know. Uh, it's always been extremely sensitive. Soon after, Jay tells us his spirit guide is sending healing help to Pi. It doesn't mean it's going to heal completely, but um, it will sort of make the dog not have to hide it so much. It'll give her the confidence to do that. Very feeling in my here right now. Really? Very strange. So cute. Yeah. It's been the most well, surprising reading so far. How was that? It was, it was a little bit emotional, I have to say. Um, I, I didn't know whether or not he was going to pick up on on some of the sort of, I guess, abuse that Pi had when she was a puppy. The paw was, that came later. She didn't have it tucked under and I, I, know, I thought, why? Because that's a thing that we've always wondered why she wouldn't like it being touched. And that was, in no way could you see that she favoured it, not favoured it. Keith's also surprised by his physical reaction during the reading. Maybe I was emotional, but I definitely felt something. It was a strange feeling kind of in the pit like solar plexus which might have just been happiness because it was like right this guy's at least worked out our dog but I've never seen her w with a stranger ever ever uh, behave that way since we've had a not a single person do you think that you have interpreted his words to match or do you feel that that Jay is on the level he can actually communicate with animals um, look I have to say seriously I am a skeptic with all this sort of stuff, but I am open-minded. But I do think that, you know, we didn't give him any prompts. All we did was his, our dog just sat in front of the man and, you know, to have given back this information, it's, it's quite rare. So I think he really nailed it, actually. He's a charmer, if he's not a psychic. I'll put it that way. Pet readings are a side earner for Jay at the moment, but who knows? Whatever you think about what you've just seen, he did give some of the owners a greater sense of connection to their pets. Will you keep doing readings with all kinds of animals? Oh, I'm willing to do all sorts. Um, Give it a go. Yeah, definitely, because um, I believe that if they've got a brain, or if they've got a soul, then um, they've got something to say. Yep, looking forward to the online arguments about that story tonight. Uh, if you're interested, Jay's details will be posted on our Facebook page. Next up on 2020, a family left wondering who they really are.
It involves a fertility clinic and a monster unleashed from the grave. Stunning story, bizarre story. They are warning others about Convicted it. felon. Convicted felon. It shakes your world, absolutely, because everything that you knew to be true all of a sudden wasn't.